Hello and welcome fellow sports lovers. My name is Jack. Today, we are talking about, good crazy, Dani Alves. It's been a season of reunions for Barcelona so far, welcomed ones, to be exact. First, Xavi Hernandez took over the managerial reins, bringing back with him nostalgia and new hope. And since January another legend came back home. It was hard to believe, in the best way possible, of course, to see Barcelona announce the return of good crazy Dani Alves. It's like hearing your favorite artist is releasing a new album or that your favorite movie is getting a sequel. His departure in 2016 was tough to swallow, the team has failed to replace him ever since, and it felt like there was unfinished business. Now, it seems like the footballing gods are ready to finish that script. The Legacy Dani Alves first moved to Barcelona in the summer of 2008. His transfer fee of approximately 30 million euros made him the world's third most expensive defender at the time. He arrived at a Blagrana side undergoing drastic changes, both with a new manager and a transformed squad. Thirteen years later, the now 38-year-old returns to a similar situation. Alves' time at Barcelona was nothing short of sensational. From 2008 to 2016, he made 391 appearances, scored 21 goals, set up 101, and won 23 titles, notably two trebles and six La Ligas. He was a crucial piece to some of the most dominant teams in world football. The tale of Barcelona is incomplete without his inclusion. Alongside talented midfielders like Xavi Hernandez, Andres Iniesta, or magisterial forwards like Lionel Messi and David Villa, Dani Alves was a force to be reckoned with on his own. He had the flair and pace of a winger matched by a tenacious and energetic presence of a midfielder. He was a nightmare to defend and score against. Whether the explosive runs at the heart of the opposition, his pinpoint crosses, his powerful tackles, or the 43 assists to Messi that created the most devastating right-hand side imaginable, one could list his highlights for days. When it comes to the modern fullback, the Brazilian represents the summit everyone seeks to reach. His legacy is cemented as inarguably the greatest right-back of all time, but his story isn't over yet. Like fine wine. When Dani Alves made his first, actually 392nd, Lagrana appearance in January, he was the club's oldest ever player at 38. Still, the dust has not settled on his career at the highest level when club legends leave Barcelona, it's often for a more low-key environment, one that is in a relatively less demanding situation. Think Xavi at Al Sad or Iniesta with Vissel Kobe. Not to disparage those choices, however, that was not the route Alves took when he departed Barcelona for Juventus in the summer of 2016. In fact, ever since 2016, he has been competing at the highest level, despite being in his middle to late 30s. During his one season at Juventus, Alves made 33 appearances, finished with 13 goal contributions, won the Serie A and Italian Cup, and helped guide them to the Champions League final. On the way to the final, Blagrana fans will remember Juventus eliminated Barcelona in the quarter-finals. He was flawless in both legs, coming up against an informed Neymar who had spearheaded Barca's comeback against PSG. In some of the biggest matches of that season, Alves put up tremendous performances. He notched a goal and assist in the Champions League semi-finals, as well as scored the opener in the Italian Cup final. Alves went on to join Paris Saint-Germain from 2017 to 2019. With the French Giants, he won a further six trophies and tallied an impressive 25 goals plus assists in 73 matches. In what felt like the final chapter of his career, Alves returned to Brazil, specifically Sao Paulo FC. While no longer in Europe's big leagues, Alves triumphed with the Brazilian national team, showing he was still top of his game. In the summer of 2019, at the age of 36, the legendary fullback helped Brazil to the Copa America title, winning most valuable player along the way. Earlier this summer, he led Brazil to the Olympic gold. Looking ahead, he has his eyes set on playing in next year's World Cup. If you want to know more about Dani Alves, watch part 2. We will talk about what he will bring to Barcelona, his strengths and weakness.
Thanks for sticking around so long. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to our channel.